Hello everyone! Today is the day we put an end to the mystery on the ending of our favorite teen rom-com trilogy, The Kissing Booth, as we welcome the final installment of the series recently. Many questions were raised on whether there will be a new chapter to the series or if Elle's adventures in the university will be explored as well, etc. However, without a doubt, the biggest question that puzzled fans' minds was what the heck happened in the final of Kissing Booth 3? When asked this way, it seems like an easy question to answer. However, the reality is, the highly anticipated Kissing Booth 3 was too tricky to have a definite answer on almost anything. In fact, rather than clearly answering questions such as who L will end up with or where will she go to study, the movie somehow managed to raise even more questions. Thankfully, we are here today to clarify everything you need to know about the ending of Kissing Booth 3. Beware, there will be spoilers ahead. But first, let's have a look into the main plot of this highly popular Netflix movie. Elle and her best friend Lee are getting ready to go to university. In the meantime, they are determined to have the best summer of their lives, as it is the last summer before leaving the town. Elle struggles in choosing which university to go. Her two options are either Harvard, where her boyfriend Noah studies, or Berkeley, where Lee will be at. And yes, all of our three protagonists are not only attractive and well-off, but also extremely successful. Anyways, she decides to go to Harvard to be with Noah, which, expectedly, upsets Lee. On top of that, Lee and Noah's mother decides to sell their beach house, which saddens them all. To appease Lee, Elle revives their old beach bucket list, and the two roll up their sleeves to complete the list before heading off. As if things are not complicated enough, Elle also continues to be friends with Marco, whom she kissed in Kissing Booth 2 and expects Noah to be cool with it. However, things go downhill when Noah breaks up with Elle, thinking that he is keeping her away from Lee by impacting her university preference. Elle, on the other hand, forgets that she was supposed to meet Lee and unintentionally sells him out. The two have a major fight. And then, as if things were going so smooth for him, Rachel breaks up with Lee, leaving him all alone. Fed up with everything that has been going on, Elle follows the advice of Mrs. Flynn and chooses to do whatever she wants to do without the worry of pleasing both Noah and Lee, meaning that she drops both Harvard and Berkeley and goes to the University of Southern California instead. Interestingly, she decides to study video design, which is a major that we had no idea she was interested in. Before leaving for college, she makes peace with Lee. The things with Noah, however, end up a bit more complicated. The couple has a talk in which both agreed that they are sorry since things did not work out between the two. Then, in a voiceover, we hear Elle saying that she remained best friends with Lee throughout the college. What about Noah? You may ask. When we were about to give up on the couple, since the movie was about to wrap up, a flash-forward scene comes in. In the scene, we see Elle and Noah coming across each other six years later. Even though they keep their distance from each other, their eyes confirm that both still have feelings for one another. They decide to have a date when they are in town again. We know it's not exactly what we dreamt for the two. Still, it's better than nothing, right? At least now we can assume that one day, they got back together and had a long, dreamy life. What did you think of Kissing Booth 3? Did you enjoy the ending of the franchise? Do you think Elle and Noah will be together in the end? Are you as surprised as us that Elle chose to study video design? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.